so I just have to get a dope outfit, but I got my tickets for Black Panther and I'm so ready for Black Panther. Aren't you so ready for Black Panther? Oh, okay. What's, what's that? I'm practicing. I'm gonna do this to all black people that I see after I see that movie. Are you, are you trying to do the salute? It's just, it's just like hands across the chest. That's what I'm doing. There's no shoulder, put, put your shoulders down. There's no shoulders in it. You look like you're hugging yourself. Okay, see, first of all, who died and made you Marvel comic expert? Cause last time I checked, you just started watching Marvel movies like two days ago. Do you know what vibranium is? Did you know that T'Challa was married to Storm and they got a divorce? Well, yeah, you didn't know any of that, did you? Yeah, you just jumping on the bandwagon like everybody else. Don't come for me. I don't even like you. Happy Black History Month. We are making history with this movie, Black Panther, and here's how. First Marvel movie to feature a predominantly black cast. Yes, Black Panther, first black superhero in mainstream American comic book history. Also, highest grossing pre-sale for a Marvel movie ever. Black dollars are going places with this movie. And it's not just black people. White people are mad hype about this movie too. So it ain't even a black or white thing. People just excited about this movie. Why am I excited about this movie? Being a black woman who is not even really into comics like that, that yes, did just kind of get into Marvel like a few days ago. Um, I'm just so excited to see my people on the front of this amazing, huge Marvel movie and looking so majestic and regal and royal. It just gives me life. Like, it gives me life to see us portrayed in this way as kings and as queens. Um, and it also gives me hope as a black actress to be like, look, there's more for us out there than just playing somebody's slave, somebody's um, maid, somebody's servant, oppressed. It gives me hope that the world is finally ready to see us in these positions of power. He's a king and he's a superhero and he is having to defend his country that has never been colonized people. So white people had nothing to do with the success of this nation. Like. They were doing bad all by themselves. Wakanda forever. Have you seen this cast? We obviously have Chadwick Boseman playing T'Challa. He was in the Marshall movie, Jackie Robinson, uh, James Brown. He's kind of killing the game right now. So exciting to have him on board. Michael B. Jordan, who was in Creed, who also um, was directed by Ryan Coogler. So I'm excited to see what this matchup brings again to the table. We have Lupita, Angela Bassett, Forrest Whitaker. My cousin Winston Duke is going to be playing the man ape. I'm so excited to see him. He doesn't know I exist, but we are cousins. Big up Trinidad and Tobago, Trinity Titty Bone, what? A star-studded cast of black folks, just like black and proud. The costumes alone to see how they meld, like futuristic looking outfits meets, you know, traditional African garb. Oh my gosh, I'm just so excited about the costumes. Trust me when I tell you, don't be surprised if I show up with face paint and a quarter staff in that movie theater like, and what? Dora Malaji here, reporting for duty, sir. I also found out that one of the scenes in particular took place in Busan in South Korea. And I'm like, oh snap, I was there. The music, Kendrick K. Dot. You producing the album? Yes, I'm excited. Yes, I'm getting that. The things that I'm nervous about, I'm sure it's gonna be great. I'm sure it's gonna be great, but I'm, I'm nervous that maybe it might not live up to the hype. I'm also a little bit nervous about the accents. I always get a little nervous. And then the thing is, I'm terrible at doing accents as an actor, but sometimes it can take me out of the moment if you know it's a really serious scene and I'm just like, what just happened? Are we British now? Please make sure that it's well-rounded. Like, like, I don't just wanna see him just like talking soft the whole time. I wanna see the conflict that goes on within him as being king and you know stepping into the spotlight in that role taking over from his father so i'm praying to god that it's not just going to be completely hugely action-packed and bright colors and all these amazing fight scenes i do want to see t'challa grow and for his character to be developed so that we do look forward to seeing him in the later avenger movies i'm just excited guys i'm just really excited i'm probably gonna cry it's like probably not even gonna be that type of movie but i'm just gonna be like go play people <laughs> So what are you guys looking forward to seeing in this movie? Or what are some of the things that you might be nervous about? Please comment below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Make sure you get your tickets. I know when I was looking at tickets in Georgia for like the times that I was trying to go, they were mostly all sold out. So um, you might have to wait for the second week 
but I know I got my tickets, my cousins. We go and we gonna represent. Tag me in any pictures that you take on opening night. I'm excited to see it. I hope that you guys are too. Please stick around for more right here on Marvy TV. Yeah, boy! Come through Fandango with a free poster. Of course, you have to pay like six something for shipping and handling, but whatever. It's for the cause.